We primarily think, one, it's a big wall of glass, but two, given that it reflects the park over here, that we're getting a lot of birds coming out of the park, seeing the reflection of the park and colliding with that building. Jeffrey Gamble is a bird enthusiast. During migration season, he searches downtown Regina for birds that have crashed into windows. This poor bird collided with a building and subsequently been stepped on. He's part of the Bird Safe Initiative program with Nature Regina. In the three programs we've run, we found around, around 80 birds in total and about 20 different species of birds. Gamble says collecting the birds is critical to not only spreading awareness about the hazards of windows, but also understanding species decline. It's estimated that 25 million birds a year die during, in Canada during the migration process. So that's a lot of birds. It's also estimated that in North America, one billion birds with a B die from colliding with windows. Windows are a huge threat to our bird populations. Once he locates a dead bird, he then catalogs it on the Citizen Science Initiative Global Collision Bird Mapper. Gamble then packs up the bird and takes it to the Royal Saskatchewan Museum. Check these out. Hey, excellent. Dr. Ryan Fisher is the curator of vertebrate and zoology at the museum. He says the work done by Nature Regina is helping write Saskatchewan's history. It really gives scientists and researchers and Saskatchewan an idea of what was around at this one particular time here in the province and specifically here in Regina. And the museum's collection is a key factor when it comes to recording the effects of climate change. You know, they've noticed things like changes in the size of the beak. Um, they've noticed changes in uh, the distribution of some birds. And it gives you that really long-term look at biodiversity. Um, but you also preserve, like you saw in those drawers, a lot of information about the shape and the size of these critters, which can change as a result of climate change. Together, Gamble and Fisher are giving those lost birds a purpose by documenting the effects of climate change and raising awareness about bird strikes. If you can put films or tape on these buildings or branding, anything like that to break up that field, it helps a lot with the birds colliding with them. Until that happens, high above, he'll continue the work on the ground. Hopefully, one bird at a time, we can kind of grow this community a bit. Fiona Odlum, CBC News, Regina.